Hello, welcome to Walk in the Park. My name is Tony Ingram, and this is my episode 148 on October 19th. We recorded this in Ithaca, New York, Pegasus Public Access Television, Channel 13. You can also see it on my video blog at walkinthepark.tv. So you can see all my um, episodes and short videos there. This week, we're going to go look at a Something I've been waiting for for decades. I used to work for the Finger Lakes State Parks, and back in the 70s and 80s, um, well, particularly in the 80s, he got sort of got going. Um, proposal for the Black Diamond Trail, which is a rails to trail project running from Taganic Falls State Park down to Ithaca, and eventually it's supposed to go down to Buttermilk Falls and Robert Treeman State Park. Uh, however, it's taken a very long time and lots and lots of work and lots and lots of uh, political uh, work and uh, fundraising and uh, land acquisition and a whole bunch of different things to finally get the first big section of the trail complete, running from Taganic Falls down to Ithaca and Cass Park or the other way, depending on your perspective, which is a distance of about eight miles. So that is really cool. It's a um, it's largely a bicycling route, but certainly lots of pedestrians and even cross-country skiers can use it. Here's another map of it showing Taganic Falls State Park up in the upper left there. And um, it's uh, there was a big celebration that I'll show you in a minute that was held uh, earlier in October, um, hosted by the Finger Lakes Cycling Club. And here is a Finger Lakes Cycling Club person who is holding a piece of coal. And I'll read what this person wrote. This picture was taken by Valdi Viderpass, who wrote Anthracite Coal, which was nicknamed Black Diamond, which was then also the name of a passenger rail service that ran on the rail line from Pennsylvania to Geneva through Ithaca, and is now the name of the trail that is on the old railroad line right of way. So for many years, the Black Diamond Trail was no more than this. It had been cleared out, work was done on it, uh, some heavy uh, railroad grade um, stone was, was there, still left over from the railroad days. People used it, although it wasn't officially open, in some sections, but there were lots of uh, gullies that were washed out and gorges that had to be crossed and old bridges that were no longer any good. So tremendous amount of work had to be done to um, put in culverts, put in bridges, and uh, create a surface that was suitable for, for uh, uh, using it as a trail. And finally, we have something that looks like this. This was I just took the other day up near uh, Glenwood Heights Road. And it's not paved. It's actually stone with stone dust and other materials in it. It will actually absorb water. Rain does not collect on it. But it makes a great surface for bicycling and other uses like that. So we're going to take a look at a um, video I made on, I believe it was October, October 2nd, down at Cass Park, where um, the Finger Lakes Cycling Club got a whole bunch of sponsors to hold a huge picnic uh, for everybody interested to celebrate the completion of this first section of trail. There's still some um, uh, fine-tuning, some, some cosmetic work to be done, some of the final bits being done this month, but uh, people are using it as you will see. So let's go to that video. Uh, my name is Andre Soselins. Uh huh. I've been in Ithaca about uh, 26 years, and I've been with the Finger Lakes Cycling Club for about 25 years. Wow. Around 1990, maybe it's 26 years. Wow. Now. So what's uh, what's going on today? Well, uh, we've been waiting for the Black Diamond Trail to get finished for so long, and uh, it became obvious in midsummer that it was going yeah. to get finished this fall, and we wanted to have a big thank you party 
for all the people who made it possible, the planners and the people who worked on it and the people who agitated for it and whoever else we can find that had a hand in it because it's a really wonderful, uh, magnificent treasure for the community. That's fantastic. When um, So this goes from Cass Park to... Cass Park to the upper end of Treman, not Treman, <laughs> to the upper end of Taganic Falls State Park. Uh -huh. The upper end is where there's a railroad bridge across the gorge, and that railroad bridge is part of the rail trail that comes all the way down into Ithaca to Cass Park. So the, why is it called the Black Diamond Trail? Uh, Black Diamond uh, referring to coal. Coal is the Black Diamond, the compressed carbon. And uh, those trains carried a lot of coal uh, from Pennsylvania north. But the train is also apparently very well known for having been the honeymoon train for uh, people who went from Philadelphia to Niagara Falls. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how that fit in with, uh, with Black Diamond, but it yeah. was a very active uh, line. It was an important line. It served a lot of purposes. So when did it stop operating? It's the uh, 50s or 60s? Or I don't. Uh, it must have stopped in the 50s or so because in the 60s the, the the rail bed was abandoned and the rails were taken up. Right. So it's, it's been uh, empty since then. And then about 10 years after the, the rails were taken out, uh, people uh, saw the potential for a rail trail. So about 40 years ago, they started agitating to develop it into a hiking, biking trail from Ithaca to Tagana. And only 40 years later, here we have the result. It's yeah. just about finished. Yeah. You can ride it up there. But you can't zoom. There, there's roads to cross, so you, yes. you have to be careful. Uh, yes. Apparently, some people have been a little careless in road crossings, uh -huh. mm. and uh, that could be really, really dangerous. But yeah. as all of these rail trails, they cross roads. When you get to a road, you simply have to slow down or stop enough to be positive that there's no traffic. Some of those roads are very fast. Traffic. Yeah. The the parks are still working on signage. Yeah. I think they're going to have signs for each of the roads. Uh -huh. So that uh, you know what road you're crossing, so you can cross check with a map. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all coming together, though. This could even be a commuter route, couldn't it? Uh, many people have already been using it, uh, coming from Trumansburg to Ithaca. Huh. Wow. And certainly to the hospital, you, you can get to the hospital now. Right, uh, right. You have to climb a very steep hill at the hospital. Oh, yeah, not, uh, not, not uh, accessible. <laughs> well, right. not to everyone. Not to not everyone, to everyone. No, 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 no. And uh, it, it drains very fast. That's one of the really nice things. It's in the, that way. It's nicer than asphalt because uh -huh. uh, yes. when it rains, the rain just runs right through that stuff. Yeah. If in the winter, we'll see questions. skiers out there, right? Uh, yes, because uh, that trail is really impossible to clear the snow off. Of, yeah. So right. It, it will be. Uh, it, it'll be interesting if we have good snow. That'll be a really nice thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now it's time to introduce uh, our first guest speaker. Uh, her name is Sue Polvorty, and Sue has worked um, as a senior natural uh, resource planner for the Finger Lakes region of the New York State Parks Department for many years, and has worked as a tireless advocate of the Black Diamond Trail Project for over 30 years. Can you imagine 30 years of advocacy? So come on up, Sue. And um, she's going to talk to a little bit about the history of this trail. Get the microphone down and uh, can I hear a Yahoo! Yeah. Yes, this, uh, um, well, probably not totally 30 years of my, <clears throat> my uh, stint with state parks here in the Finger Lakes region, but a good 25. And I, Thank you to the Finger Lakes Cycling Club for having me be a part of this wonderful event. And I'm so thrilled to see all of you people here, people out on the trail as we were coming down into town, still out there riding away. So um, again, 25 years trying to get this project off the ground uh, in many different um, formats and planning and taking phone calls from advocates like you. Uh, detractors trying to make them advocates like you, uh, land acquisition, and today is a wonderful celebration that we have 
phase one of the Black Diamond Trail nearing completion and making the network of trails here in Tompkins County, the South Hill Recreation Way, the East Hill Recreation Way, the Waterfront Trail, uh, and now the first phase of the Black Diamond Trail. We've got two more to go, uh, but to have that network available to us now is incredible. And not only is it out there for us to recreate on, but I'm sure many of you folks will be using it too as a transportation mode. So, um, yay. <laughs> to prepare for this day and, and uh, to give a speech. It's really hard to wrap up 25 years of a project in three to five minutes, but there's so many people to thank uh, through the years. This project is uh, conception started in the 60s, actually, and in a different format, but today it's, uh, it's going to connect a lot of resources in this community. It's going to connect up to a lot of resources with the Waterfront Trail, and in the future, uh, your support to continue the Gateway Trail, uh, the two sections of the Black Diamond Trail, and we're going to hear probably I think a little bit about the Dryden Trail. We are so blessed to have people like you folks being advocates for resources like this. So thank you. It's been a long, long road, uh, and some of you have been there probably from the beginning. Others have joined along the way. But thank you, thank you, thank you for being there for me and for State Parks and for the community. Thank you. Uh, my name is Armin Burrett. I am the uh, president of the Finger Lake Cycling Club. I'd not doubt it, but thank you. Finally, many thanks to the great, amazing construction crew um, who, have come, who have done such a great job to build this wonderful trail. And I've been on this trail of knowing these guys for like the last year, right? Uh, two or three times a week, I come by and wave, and then they wave me on. Over here, we got Reggie, we got Charles, and we got Colton. All right. So, if you've been on the trail any time in the last year or so, and you see somebody in a big machine, that's these guys and their crew, and they've been so incredibly help helpful and welcoming. Okay, can you hear me? Is this a good, is this a good? Okay, so I, I am going to talk a little bit about uh, BD10, the Black Diamond Trail Enthusiast Network. And I can't do it without asking Vicki Armstrong and Andres to come back up here with me. Because the three of us met in February of 2006, and we met for the first time then. And it's because somehow we, we we felt the Black Diamond Trail, and, and there we were. Uh, so uh, at that time, we dubbed it the BD10, Black Diamond Trail Enthusiast Network, which also was an acronym for BD, BD, Black Diamond Trail, the first 10 miles. So we were very optimistic, and here we are 10, 10 years later, and it's happening, and it's amazing. <laughs> I, at least, and I think we were inspired by something that... Um, our president, Obama, said soon after he was elected. Um, he echoed FDR's statement to a group of students who wanted him to do something. And FDR reportedly said, okay, you've convinced me, now go and make me do it. So that's all we have tried to do. We wanted to make our government do what they, in this case, already wanted to do and have been doing for 10, 20, 30 years, but it had stalled. So they had a good plan, but they needed to hear us. So when we're speaking up here today, we know full well we're representing hundreds of you who came out for So our first push was to get citizens to show up and speak um, at two public hearings that happened in December of 2007 and that was to approve the master plan. And it was a great plan, a plan that the Finger Lakes Parks people had been working on for years. Um, um, and at the same time, getting the easements, the designs, everything put into place. And our newly formed BD10 at the time rallied more than 180 people um, who showed up at those two hearings to show the powers that be that we were, that they weren't working in the dark that we actually wanted to help make it happen. 
And we got the message from them, and we continue to get the message from them that we, we citizens have to make it happen. We have to make them do what they know they want to do, but that they need our help to do it. And that was the role that we wanted to show, that we were, well, there were many of us clamoring for this trade. Okay, next up is Fred Vaughn. Fred Vaughn is the regional director uh, for the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation. He has been a driving force uh, for the Black Diamond Trail for decades, securing the critical funding required to make this dream become a reality and overseeing this complex construction project. Fred. Well, what a great day for a novel ride. Uh, I, I, I took the easy road down, I used gravity, rode down from Trumansburg. It was beautiful. And uh, thanks to the Finger Lake Cycling Club um, for bringing home just an absolutely perfect day. So I'm glad you're all here to enjoy. Um, I'm just going to grab some crib notes here. Uh, I also I, I also want to recognize uh, uh, Colton and Charles Lawton with MR Dirt. I mean, these are the guys that are putting the trail together. It has been a long, hot summer. It's much cooler now, but they've been out there uh, making a big difference, getting the trail completed, and we're only a matter of weeks away. We're very close to finishing up the servicing, getting this very important signage up, um, and uh, so we will have the trail completion. We'll bring Commissioner Harvey in. We're going to do a state parks big announcement. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll look forward to celebrating that uh, uh, as well. I'd also like to let, recognize Larry Mauser. He's uh, our, our parks engineer. We've been overseeing this uh, project. Uh, making sure that the 100 plus culverts are, are being restored uh, in a way that's going to uh, protect the trail for the decades to come. Um, and finally, thank you for your patience. You have been a very patient community. We have all been working and dreaming and wanting this for so many years, for the decades. Uh, I appreciate all of your support, all of your advocacy, all of your passion, and I'm really proud that we now have soon we'll have the trail that will deliver on, on your dreams. Uh, and that's really exciting. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's my first time on it. Um, we are actively planning to continue the trail to the south. We're working with the town and the city uh, and the county and, and landowners. You know, ultimately, we want to connect this. We want the connection between Buttermilk and Treman and the city and Trumansburg. All of that interconnectivity uh, is all part of the plan. And we're not resting on our laurels. Uh, we're actively out there uh, engaged in, in making that happen. Um, a couple of things, you know, as you're out there using the trail, um, please be kind, please be respectful. Uh, sometimes we're crossing some property boundaries. People's front yards are all of a sudden their backyards, and their backyards are now front yards. So please be kind to neighbors. Obey the traffic intersections. Obey the property lines, and don't trespass. And, and this is not the group that I need to be singing that song to. I know, but I just wanted to remind everybody of that. Um, please make sure that uh, uh, you don't give uh, too many dog treats to. Um, uh, or what was his name? Like, I don't know. Barney, Barney, the beautiful, the beautiful uh, 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 dog up there. Um, and I, I thought that was one of the greatest signs I may have ever seen. So uh, I, I, I enjoyed getting to know Barney. Uh, stay tuned for the uh, uh, the opening with uh, Commissioner Rose Harvey. And I also I also want to thank Governor Cuomo. Uh, this is all being funded through an initiative that Governor Cuomo has called Parks 2020. It's a $90 million initiative over the uh, 10 years to restore and revitalize our, our state park system. You're seeing work done at Teganic. You're seeing work done at Treeman and at Buttermilk. Uh, we've got uh, a, a number of projects, several million dollars. We've got about $20 million worth of construction right now in the Finger Lakes region. So get out there. Enjoy your parks. These are your facilities. People come up to me and they go, oh, Fritz, how's your park? And I'm like, it's not my park. It's our park. So, um, so I'm Bob Beck, and uh, I want you to know about our project. Uh, as you know, in driving, as you know, good things take a long time sometimes. Uh, just like the Black Diamond Trail, like the wonderful uh, uh, Cuba uh, Waterfront Trail, which is now open, 
Uh, the Dryden Trail is in the works. We've had false starts over the last umpteen years, decades, and we're now going to make it happen. So, as Armin mentioned, uh, we have a, a rail trail task force set up by the Town of Dryden Town Board. We have a much larger group, Friends of Dryden Rail Trails. You're all welcome to join our group. We're having regular meetings. And as you may know, the rail bed back in 1982 uh, from the Village of Dryden through Frigo, Etna, Varna, all the way to Ithaca uh, was sold back to all the individual landowners <laughs> in 1982. So our challenge is to put it back together again, getting easements from all of those landowners, uh, allowing for public access for uh, trail use for bicycles and, and pedestrians. So we're in the process of doing that since uh, spring and summer, and we're having enormous success so far. So uh, we're, we've got like almost 50 easements to get, and we're, we're getting them. So uh, initially, our first phase for the project is to get from Game Farm Road, Town of Dryden, Town of Ithaca Line, up through Varna to Route 13. And that will be our first phase. We're applying for money right now, and a lot of volunteer support. So uh, looking to the future, uh, we are going to connect up from Dryden Lake, beyond Dryden, through the Jim Shuck Trail, through the village of Dryden, through Freeville, through Etna, through Varna, to the East Ithaca Recreation Way, and connect up ultimately with the other trails in the county. So it's pretty exciting. Thank you very much. Okay, so we'll get out there and enjoy the trail. It's beautiful. I was out there uh, yesterday, the day before. I guess it was yesterday. Yeah, it was really warm. And uh, it's a beautiful place, so a beautiful asset now. You can go all the way to Teganic Falls from Ithaca without going on the highway. You do have a few small road crossings to watch out for, but that is really nice. So uh, once again, this is Walk in the Park. Uh, you can see all of our episodes at walkinthepark.tv. Pegasus Public Access Television, Channel 13, Ithaca, New York. Okay, so uh, building a trail like the Black Diamond Trail, building the Black Diamond Trail, has to cross uh, lots and lots of gullies because along that hillside going from Taganic to Ithaca, there aren't any big trunk streams like Taganic Creek and so forth. Uh, there are one or two like Glen Creek, uh, Glenwood, Glenwood Creek. Um, but uh, most of them are just little streams, so they require lots of culverts, and they go straight down to the lake. And so the building of culverts and bridges was a major challenge to hook this trail all up, and, and one of the things that made it take as long as it did. So I've put together a little video using uh, photographs supplied to me from Finger Lake State Parks and also some video I've taken myself. Uh, just a couple of minutes to show you, give you an idea of some of the work that was involved in um, producing these uh, amazing uh, ravine crossings.
So I'll give you a little taste of uh, the uh, quite a bit of construction work and uh, pretty uh, intense um, uh, equipment needs and um, tradespeople getting involved in producing those um, bridges and culverts, uh, ravine crossings. So I've got you know, just a little bit of time left here. I'm going to run one of my park minutes that I did showing a little bit of fall colors. So let's go to that. The late afternoon sun illuminates the beginning of autumn on this hillside south of Ithaca in New York's Finger Lakes region. Okay, that's all we have time for today. For So thanks for joining me for a walk in the park, and I'll see you again soon. Get out there, enjoy the Black Diamond Trail and all the other trails we have during these amazing fall colors. <laughs>